Hey guys, so I'm making this video to spread awareness. I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Yesterday, I almost died jumping out of a moving lift because the lift driver was trying to kidnap me. So I work at the Clinton Outlets in Connecticut. If you live in Connecticut, you know the Clinton Outlets is exit 63. I live in New Haven, Connecticut, which is about 30, 30 minute rise. When I got a female driver, I was so happy, y'all, so happy. And the crazy thing about it is Lyft had gave me a female driver and then Lyft switched it and gave me another female driver because she was closer. Yesterday, um, Lyft gave me a notification saying, okay, your ride is outside. So, you know, I got my things ready, got my bag. I, I went outside. I the, the license plate, the car, the driver, everything matched the picture on Lyft. Everything was correct. Okay, the driver, she had like this accent. I can tell she was foreign. Before we got off exit 63, she was on the phone with, with some man. And she was like explaining to them what I was wearing. I didn't think too much of it because first she was speaking another language. I don't know what she was speaking on the phone with this man. She, the language she was speaking, it sounded like it was she was from the Middle East. or But she said something in English when she was on the phone with the man, which is weird because she was speaking another language. And then all of a sudden she started to say, dark dark skin red sweater when she said she said no she said red sweater dark skin when she said red sweater dark skin i had on a red sweater and i'm dark skin so she was describing whoever she was on the phone with she was describing me to that person what i was wearing how i looked which was weird i did not i did not think too much of it because i was about to be to work i was almost to my destination so you know what even though i was nervous i'm like okay i'm gonna just let i'm gonna just let god handle the rest you know i'm about to be to my destination i'm gonna just let her take me to my destination but we got off exit 63 okay so i'm back to finish the story i'm so sorry y'all i could not finish the video the other day i was not right emotionally i had a lot on my plate everything was the incident happened that is why my face looks better but the damage is is already done the trauma is still there let me finish the story Okay, so we got off exit 63. The Lyft driver, she had to turn left to get to my destination once you get off exit 63. The Lyft driver had her left turn signals on. Mind you, she had her left turn signals on. So she knew, even she knew she had to turn left. Even the GPS told her she had to turn left. Guess what she did? She ended the ride and got back on the highway. We were almost to my destination. She got back on the highway while I was still in the car. I'm like telling her, ma'am, you passed my destination. What are you doing? This lady did not say nothing. And I'm like, girl, what are you doing? She told me to shut up. She didn't have to tell me nothing else. I jumped out that car so fast. I jumped out the car while it was moving. That shit hurt so bad. I thought I was going to die because she was going fast. Like, you know, when somebody's trying to kidnap you, they try to go fast. They try to like get away with it fast. That's how fast she was going while I was jumping out the car. You know, that day, I thought I was never going to see my mom again. I thought I was never going to see my dad again. I thought it was it. Like, it felt like a movie, y'all. It felt like I was in a movie. Like, I keep replaying the scenario in my head. When I jumped out the car, all I can remember is holding my head. I was bleeding out my head. I was bleeding in my other parts of the body. But it was mainly in my, my head. And I was holding my head while I was walking to the plaza because I needed to go somewhere where there was a lot of people just in case she tried to come back and, you know. So I just walked to the plaza. It literally took me like 10 seconds. That's when I called the cop. Mind you, this incident happened a couple days before my birthday. I thought I wasn't going to make it home to spend time with my family for my birthday. Like, I really thought that I was going to die. Tell me why, while I was walking to the plaza, it was so many cars out there, nobody stopped for me. Nobody stopped for me. Nobody asked me if I was okay. Luckily, I had the sense to call 911 myself. But what if I couldn't call 911? Who gonna call 911 for me? 
You see what I mean? If I see somebody just jumped out of the car, if I see somebody bleeding out their head, crying, walking to the plaza, I'm going to stop the car and ask them if they're okay. Especially if it's, a, if it's a young girl like me. Clearly, I just went through hell. So the fact that none of the cars stopped for me, they was all looking, y'all. When the cops came, the paramedics came. I got in the ambulance and I was transported to Yale New Haven Hospital all the way from Clinton. Mind you, I didn't even realize I, I was losing my memory until the amb the, guy, the paramedics asked me, asked me what my age was. I couldn't answer. I didn't even know how old I was. That's how bad my memory was functioning. I think it's because I was going through so much trauma. So he asked me how old I was. I didn't even know. But then I remembered, wait. He asked me what my birthday was, and I'm like, wait, my birthday's coming up. June, so I, I said to him, I said, June 25th, 2001. Like, I was so uncertain.